All right, so what I want to do is build a website and I actually have, let me open up my uh, Google Photos here because this is all using free Google stuff uh, in this video pretty much. There's a couple of tools I'll probably uh, mention, but um, da -da 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 -da. okay, let me go to my photos and make sure I've got, yeah, there it is. Okay, so this is how I like to design websites, um, at least the, just the, the basic layout, just getting everything um, out of my head onto some kind of shareable medium that I can iterate quickly on. Um, I like using just little notebooks like this and, and really just uh, scribbling it out, just doodling it out. Um, for this one, um, you can see they're better on the screen, so I just take a picture of it with my phone, excuse me, and um, that'll automatically sync to my Google Photos account. And this really helps me, basically just works as like a, a whiteboard or, um, you know, a, a way for me to, to kind of see my references and, and try to build what I have imagined. And we're going to try doing this with Google Sites. Now, I've only used Google Sites a little bit. As you can see here, I've just got a couple of sites that I've worked on in the past. Um, let me just go over here and check chat. How's everybody doing? Are we, are we coming through? Can you guys see my screen? Okay, hopefully you should see my screen. All right, there we go. All right, technical difficulties. Okay, so I'm using Google Sites. And it's a, it's a very basic, very simple, if you've ever used the old Google Sites, this is the more recent one. It's not super new, but there are new features that have just kind of rolled out for it pretty recently. And so I want to give this a try and see if I can create uh, a, a, a website for myself that... Um, that will kind of allow me to showcase some of the Google drawings that I've done, the portrait work, the illustration work, that kind of stuff, and also serve as a um, kind of a, a collection um, where I can describe the process, my my illustration process, um, in a in a nice sort of comprehensive. Uh, hopefully, it looks good as well kind of way. Uh, so let's go in here to Google Sites. We're just going to click on this little plus icon down here and start a new site. What I love about Google Sites is the simplicity. There's no code. There's no uh, it, um, weird like navigation or anything um, like there's a lot of really, really good uh, visual website builders out there right now. but this is also very, this is it's completely free and it feels like all the other Google tools to me. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up here and choose a theme and I'm going to pro, let's see, I'm going to do impression. There's a few themes to, to choose from and, um, and I'll try to show as much as I know um, about how we can customize things and, and change things up because Google drawings uses this almost this exact red i'm going to keep that color and in fact i've already started creating using google drawings creating a little bit of a um a header graphic for myself so i'm going to use this as, as kind of like a title and this is that exact red i use my colorzilla plugin to grab a color from the page and i grabbed this red color right here i'll show you how you do that grab the uh my 
my extension right up here. I just click on it, choose page color picker active, and then I can just hover over the color I want, click it, and it will copy that actually to the clipboard. And then I can go back over here and paste that in. And then what I also did is I brought down my opacity slider or this, um, this is your uh, um, alpha channel, which is how, how see-through something is. I brought that down just a little bit because I want some of the artwork that I'm going to be putting this graphic on top of in the header to show through. So let's go back to a reference. This is what I'm going to be trying to make. I'm going to use my Google drawings in the background here, and I want that to cover the entire viewport. So 100% width, or 100 percent width, 100 percent height, and then have this Google Drawings just nice and big and blocky right in the middle of that. And that's going to be kind of the hero image, the landing page welcome. And let's go ahead and just give this a title. This is going to be a Google Drawings. Okay. And I actually don't want Google Drawings here. Uh, let's go ahead and get our navigation set up. I want my name right here. So the, I'll put the artist's name right here, which is me. There we go. Can't type today. Okay, so then we're gonna add a logo. Go to upload and I've already prepared some stuff in here as you can see, I'll talk about that in just a second. And uh, I'm gonna go into my folder. Grab my white. Uh, logo upload that so this is just setting up the navigation from the from here I, you can see I have a background and because my icon or my logo here is white you can't see it so I'm just going to choose black and that makes the navigation bar black and that's what I want we do have a couple of options if we click on our, our uh, navigation up here once we add some more pages so let me go ahead and do that we're just gonna work on the home page today, but I do wanna get some other pages in here. I'm gonna have process. Okay, really easy, quickly. Uh, it's just just really fast to be able to, to, to create new pages this, this way with, with Google Sites, I really like it. And we're gonna have downloads. I wanna be able to have some downloadable templates for other people. And we may add more pages as we progress, but this is enough for now, just so we can have something up here in the navigation and, and know how it feels and, and looks. So now we have a, a, a new option, a little gear icon over here, and we can choose now if we want a top navigation or a side navigation. And here's how the side navigation works. And by the way, it will automatically switch to that side navigation on mobile. Um, the other thing I really like about the new Google Sites is that it is responsive. It's mobile friendly, tablet friendly, responds to different device sizes and screens, screen resolutions. It's really great. All right, so let's see what else. Let me just go back here and check in the chat. How you guys doing? Thanks for watching. All right, so I'm going to click on my header image here, and we're going to choose header type. I want this to cover the entire screen. So there we go. This title I do not want on this page. Actually, let's, let's, uh, let's undo that because we're actually on the downloads page. On the downloads page, I just want to have the title. Same with the process page. We're just going to have the title. On the home page, this is where I want to make my change. I'm going to remove the title and then change the header type to cover. All right, so now we're on the home page and we want it to look something like this right here, right? So now we need an image. So let's go here, change image right down here and we're gonna upload. And so here's where I've prepared all of my, my files and I've used Google Drawings for everything. So I've created a, a folder for myself called Google Drawings. This is where all my assets are for this site at least for the home page. I'm just going to work on the home page in this stream. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments during the stream. I'd be happy to um, 
to chat and answer questions as well. Um, that's that's why I want to do these live streams. So thanks for hanging out with me. All right, so I have um, what I did. I showed this in an, another video. Let me just explain some of this, by the way. Um, let me go back to illustrations here. So this is my Google Drive, right? And we're in my illustrations folder. I showed this in another video. I had created a vector collage of a ton of stuff, not everything, but a ton of stuff that I've used Google Drawings to uh, to create to, to, as an illustration tool. And I put it together in this ginormous collage. This would be a beautiful uh, vertical banner. And there's just tons of stuff in here, tons of information, lots of different uh, portraits that I've done, um, illustrations, personal projects. And I've downloaded this as a scalable vector graphic or SVG. So from download as it's the SVG option right there, scalable vector graphic, because I want to have, I wanted to have nice high resolution images, especially for this one, which is going to cover the entire screen of whatever device it's viewed on. And the only tool that I have used besides Google drawings is, um, paint.net. If you don't know about paint.net, you can go to paint.net and check it out. It's a free uh, Photoshop alternative. Of course, it does not do everything that Photoshop does, but it does not need to for me. All I needed it to really to do is to crop out that huge image. Um, and by the way, there's a plugin that you can get to open your, your uh, SVGs in it. So I'm going to open this SVG just to show you. You can open SVGs and I'm going to say resolution at 300 dpi i'm going to leave everything else the same and just click ok and just want to show you the kind of quality that you can get by by using this this technique now you can use any image editor but uh, this really works well for me because it's fast it's snappy it's lightweight and it's free and if i do a control zero just like on a uh, photoshop i can zoom in on this i can hold space bar to pan around my canvas you can just see how much detail is in this and so what I've done is used the marquee selection tool set it up to be uh, a fixed size and I put in 1920 by 1080 1920 come on keep up with me stream okay by 1080 so this is just how I how I sort of uh, collected some of my assets and then I just started cropping up this image into my, my individual pieces. I'm going to close this because it's a big image. And then I save those out into a folder, right? Into this folder. And here's all of those different pieces from, from one big image collage that I made in Google Designs or Google Drawings. I've got all these different pieces now. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the chat where you're watching from and if you have any questions or comments during the stream, I'd love to to chat with you. Thanks for hanging out. Um, all right, so that's how I got some of these pieces in here. The other ones I've just downloaded as PNGs from my Google Drawings documents. If you have any other questions about that, just let me know. So what I'm going to do is close this right, right now, go back to Google Sites. And uh, I just wanted to show you all of that to, to, to explain where these images are coming from. So I've done a little bit of prep and homework, which is, is good to do. Sketching out my layout, what I want to try to achieve. And I'm, and I'm going to see if Google Sites will allow me to do that. All right, so I clicked on Image, going to upload, and I'm going to go to my assets folder here google drawings and let's choose a collage one this is going to be the big hero image big header graphic one thing that google sites will do and i think this is pretty brilliant is it will try to automatically adjust and you can see it's it's sort of dimmed down this image it's made it darker and less contrast and this is because normally that title would be on there and this will make it optimal uh contrast for being able to read that text 
I'm using my own text and putting my own elements behind it to add that contrast. So I'm going to just click down here where it says remove readability adjustment. And I can remove that. And it brings it back to full vibrancy. Now I can just double click and I get options here. And I want to upload something and you can just choose that because I'm going to upload an image. I don't want to choose images because that's going to take me into uh, either uh, doing a Google search for an image. Let me just show you. I can insert one by URL, so something that's already on the web. I can search for something and I can get something from my, my albums or from my Google Drive. I want to upload something from my local drive. So double click, choose upload, and we'll grab this Google Drawings. It's just a PNG image from this Google Drive file that I that I created. So essentially just created this in, the, in another Google Drawings document, saved it as a PNG, and now I'm bringing it into Google Sites. And that's exactly what I want right there. That's all I want it to be. So now let's look at our, got our header, big cover image, and anytime I can click this little eyeball to preview my site. And this is how it's going to look on desktop. Here's how it will look on tablet. Here's how it will look on mobile. Brilliant. It's beautiful. I love it. And there's even a little bit of parallax now going on. So since I used that PNG as a separate image, now that is on top of the uh, hero image, those kind of interact. There's a little bit of parallax there. It's really nice. All right, let me just go back to my reference. And there it is. That's, that's what I wanted. Big cover photo, big image, Google Drawings. Really simple. It's all I wanted to say. Lots of visual information here and showing off the artwork. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's see if we got any comments or questions. How you guys doing? Uh, hey, Bernard, how's it going, man? Hey, we need to catch up. I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, Kirim, I uh, hope I pronounced your name right. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Um, Hey Vern, I, I love the I love the stuff that you've been doing. Um, a lot of a lot of video work, and try to keep up with you. And uh, hope you're hope you're doing great, man. Um, thanks for tuning in, by the way. All right, back to our Google Sites here. Sorry if uh, if my voice is a little raspy. Now let's see our next thing. So I use these little uh, visual elements here to show me, you know, kind of design this whole thing in sections. My next section is going to be uh, three images with title and a little bit of a description. Let's see if we can do that. We'll go to insert over here and we have a layout element just like that. So I'm just going to click it. It's going to insert it right beneath my big cover image there. Very, very cool. That's exactly what I wanted. Now we just need to populate it with our, our own content. So I'm going to do my images first here, upload, grab some of my images. Let's do Ananda. Let's do David Tennant. Let's do David Bowie. David Bowie. Another upload. And Bernard, since you're watching, let's go let's go grab you. Where where are you? Uh I'm gonna have to I I will have to I'll have to find you. Uh you'll be on this page though, I'm sure. Uh let's get Deadpool. Why not? Nice a nice variety there. Uh fictional character, celebrity, and designer. And let's go ahead and, and Put some titles in. So this is Ananda. A N A N D A. Uh, let me just make sure I spell our name right. Davis. Okay. David Bowie. Right. And Deadpool. Dadpool. <laughs> okay. 
And I'm just, I'm just gonna put uh, hashtag uh, made with Google Drawings. I'll just copy that and put it all in here. This might be something I change later, but this just lets me know there, there'll be some kind of description in here at some point, but that's all I need for right now. Now, what I can do too is change this background, but let's just preview it first. Just click that eyeball again. It's nice. It kind of gets rid of all the um, editing panels. And now I can just smoothly scroll through this and look at that. It's looking pretty good. Lots of beautiful imagery in here. That's that's what I'm going for. All right. Let's see. What's up, guys? Um, let's see. Uh, Kieran says, uh, doing all right. Uh, watching carefully and with curiosity. Cool. This looks so good. Uh, I'll have to give this platform a shot. Dadpool, LOL. Yep. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I don't know if it's if it's uh, something that would work for professional sites, but I do. I've read a lot of, uh, of reviews about it, you know, using it for maybe uh, um, portfolio sites. That's that's where I'm using it basically for in this site, but also for like, um, you know, information and uh, and sort of intranet things that we that, that you can use internally or with colleagues uh, is basically just a, a place to, to kind of catch stuff um, anything that you use in Google Docs or uh, Google Drive you know you can upload calendars YouTube videos uh, Google slides documents sheets all that kind of stuff right from here even forms and charts and so um, there's a lot of really really good features in here and as you can see it's very so far, it's very quick to create something and it's responsive. That's just uh, amazing to me. So here's what I'm going to do, though. If I hover over this section, all right, so think about how I drew this out. And this is actually how uh, Google Sites works as well. It works with sections. So this big uh, sort of landing page cover image, that's a section. Then we have another section. And in Google Sites, we have some controls over how these sections work. We can also duplicate these sections or delete the entire section. And inside those sections, you can have lots of different elements. These layouts really help you sort of create things quickly, kind of like wireframes that you can fill in with actual content. And, um, and we can also d uh, do some styling on these sections. And that's what the little palette icon is here. And I want to put a background. This is a background image. Um, I can just add an emphasis, which is going to use my red color, which is quite nice now. So it's really, really easy to get this sort of nice uh, uh, unified style, have a theme that goes throughout your entire site with some customization that you're able to do. I want to use an image for this section and keep a lot of color in here. So what I've done is I've just done a blur filter using um, uh, paint.net on that first collage image and I'm going to upload that blurred one as the background. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty cool. And I'm going to go ahead and let um, Google Sites adjust that for readability. It darkens it a little bit, pulls out a little bit of contrast. Let's see how that looks. Very cool. I think it looks really slick already. So there's our two sections already done. All right, we got one more section here. This is going to be a full width image. Let's see if we can do that. A full width image. So there's just going to be a lot of imagery in this. It's kind of a fun website to, to, to build. Um, I will probably go back and add more descriptions and text and things like that. Um, source code from sites that I create is also available. Oh, very cool. So you, you, you make websites out. That's awesome. Uh, are you talking about, oh, is this, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't see that there was a question. Is the source code from sites that I created available? You know, I don't think so. This is totally a Google tool. Somebody else might know more about that than, than me, but I don't see, and as much as I've used this so far, which isn't a whole lot, but I have used it uh, for a couple of sites. 
there is no way to get access to code. You can insert custom code or you know embed custom code, but that will be like a block of of uh, of custom code, not the 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 site itself being able to like export it and host it somewhere else. This is a Google tool that lives inside Google, just like all of Google uh, Google Drive's suite of applications. Google Docs, for example, lives in Google Docs. You can export it as a uh, you know Microsoft document, but it lives inside Google Drive. And uh, and by the way, let's let me go back here to my Google Drive and show you. If I go to my drive, I want to show you where this site is. So I don't know, I don't think this will answer your question, but uh, as far as like getting access to the source code, but uh, this is where da -da -da -da. refreshing here. I've got dive in the drive is there, but this is this is this is actually a Google site and it's in my Google Drive, but it doesn't count against any of my storage. There it is. So there's my new file and that's a site file. Let's see, I'll get some information about this. Uh, it'll show me activity, details, located in my drive. Um, I can add a description, viewers can download. That's all it tells me. What is cool about Google Sites is that you can collaborate with other people just like you can with Google Docs. So I could invite or share this with somebody and they could actually edit the copy or be, uh, or upload something on another page while I work on this one. So that's actually really, really cool. I like that flexibility. Um, but sorry, I don't, I don't know about uh, source code. You're so good at drawing. Well, thanks, Andy. Thanks very much. Um, these are all made with Google Drawings, by the way. This is all vector vector graphics. All right, so we got one more section here to create for a full width image. Let's see, we're gonna grab, I'm not gonna do a section, right? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna double tap here and, uh, and just choose text. And I'm just gonna show you why. So just like we styled the background of this section here, that's what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna, I need, I need some padding so that that, that image will show through because if I just style it right now, we'll go to image, uploaded image, and um, and I'm gonna grab this collage number two as we just kind of go down the site. See, it just it's just like a little section here, and I want it to be nice and tall and and cover the whole uh, viewport of the browser. So with that text box in there, I'm just gonna hit enter or return maybe like 15 times or something. So let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I'm counting because I want to have a, uh, a few sections like this and I want it to all be the same size. So I'm kind of doing a little hack here and just using a text box to give me some uh, vertical height on this section. And let's just uh, view that to make sure that's doing what we want it to do. So I, I really like that you can just preview exactly what it's going to look like on desktop, uh, tablet, and mobile. We can browse right through it. There's our images, nice description, and our full width. I like that it goes all the way across. That's just exactly what I wanted. Let's see what happens on tablet. Shrinks it down, centers it. That's great. And on mobile. Look at this, it also automatically relays out um, that whole section into a vertical layout. There's my big full width image and there it is. All right, so my first page of notes is complete. Big cover photo, nice graphic on there. Uh, we got a, a, a three uh, image grid, another full width graphic. Uh, illustration. We want another f another three images here, and it's basically just going to repeat this this pattern down through the f the uh, the first uh, home page here. And here's a cool way, quick way of being able to do this. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this section. 
So I just clicked on that duplicate icon and there it is, it put it right underneath it. What I can do is grab these handles right here and drag it down. So you can grab those sections, move them wherever you want. And now let's update the imagery here. We'll click on our photo, click inside that again and replace the image. We're gonna upload and uh, let's see here. We'll get, uh, let's get David Tennant this time. Let's get, let's get Fatima. So you say you can quickly sort of build out an entire page once you get um, some of these sections built out. And uh, yeah, Ned Stark, why not? Then we got another fictional character in there. David, let me just make sure I spell names right. I'm not very good at spelling. David Tennant, T E N N A N T N A N T. Fatima Burke, did I spell that right? Do, 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 do. U R K E. Okay. There we go. Again, I can go back in here and, and update this, edit it however I want later on. Now maybe this section is gonna have a different emphasis. We'll do just that red, solid red behind that section. See how that looks. Kind of breaks it up a little bit. Or maybe just white. Yeah, I like that after that full width image, then we have some white space. All right, so now we wanna duplicate this section and have another full width image. Drag it down. How you guys doing? Thanks for watching and hanging out with, by the way. Yeah, I still think it's a useful tool, sure. Um, yeah, Andy, give it a try. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thanks for thanks for uh, for being active in the chat and and hanging out with me tonight. I hope this is uh, something valuable. So I just turned off that um, that automatic uh, adjustment for readability, and um, what we're going to have to do is go back to our section background, go to image, upload, and we're going to change out this image, and we'll go to collage number three. So doing this prep has really helped me build this thing pretty quickly. And um, I'll wait for that to do their, do its thing and then turn off the readability. All right. So we are now on our second page. We've got our three, um, three image grid with descriptions, full width, another three image grid, and another full width. Did we get all of that? I think it's just basically going to repeat one more time. So let me use this uh, nice blurred background one again. So I'm going to duplicate that. And then this will be our last sort of uh, set of sections. There we go. And just and um, I just double clicked on that that picture, and you can uh, 
you can adjust the cropping there if if you want um, replace our image get some more imagery in here uh, let's see we use uh, Joy Pomeroy, it's my sister. We use uh, let's use let's use Kinesha. and replace image, upload, and let's use uh, Leonard Nimoy. Whoops, there we go. And Leonard Nimoy. That's an eye. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then one more full width image. We'll just duplicate this one. Andy. Karim, uh, Bernard, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Anybody else who's watching, thanks, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, we're going to replace this image. And we'll do collage number four. I actually have one more, but oh, two more actually. That that huge long collage has given me lots of content to be able to use for this this home page. But I've got other pages that I can save some content for. Turn off that uh, readability effect. Okay. And then what we're going to do is just hover down here and add a footer. I'm going to try this. I haven't done this actually yet. Yeah, so um, yeah, it gives us a text box uh, by default. Let's see, we'll move this up here. Um, okay, we have a, another background image. We can add emphasis. What else can we do? Let's upload an image. And um, oh, just an upload, we'll go upload. And this is where I want to have a little bit of a bio or something about me since I'm the artist. So I'm, I'm choosing a portrait of me. And this is a little bit different because, oh, by the way, so you can, you can grab these handles with something selected. You can grab these handles and, and sort of change the, uh, the height and size of these. Um, there we go. And let's see, I want to have a, this is going to be a heading, so we'll do a title. And we'll say about the artist. And um, let's add another text box underneath it. This is going to be, yeah, small is good. Joshua Palmer, let's do it all in caps. Joshua Pomeroy. 
I want this to be a little bit bigger. And I have like this split section here. So we got half text and half image, something like that. This would be uh, going a little bit faster, actually. If I'm, I can, my fan is kicking on, I can tell I'm, I'm uh, testing the uh, limits of my computer with this stream right now. And see how you can drag these these uh, these blocks of text, and I want this to be normal normal text. And for now, let's go ahead and just grab some Ipsum. Lorem Ipsum. And I will, you don't need to uh, sit here and watch me type. But I just want to have a, a paragraph about myself down here. Right there. That's all we need. Just make sure I, there we go. And, um, all right, here's one thing I can do. So this, since I want this to be in the footer, we can try this. That's kind of nice. And since I have a, a PNG here for my, um, sort of my, my profile image down here, uh, then it just takes up the entire background. That's kind of nice. And I don't even mind that it just, it's cropped here. I don't, I don't even mind that. It's okay. Looks, looks fine to me, but, um, I, I feel like maybe I could do something better. And um, I think maybe maybe one of these um, one of these sections, uh, maybe the one that's right above it. So number f number uh, what is that? Number four. Let's go ahead and open this, and, I'm, and I'll show you just a little bit about um, Paint.net. So we'll just open that in Paint.net. Here it is. Okay. Nice big image, and. Um, Zoom out a bit. So I want to do a couple of things. One, I want to blur the snot out of it. And we can do that under effects, blur, Gaussian blur. And I think I did 80 for the other one. Looks good. There it is. Okay. And I also want to go to adjustments. We'll go to brightness and contrast and bring the brightness way down and actually I'm gonna gonna bring the contrast down a little bit too so it doesn't start to get uh, like oversaturated looking I want this to be very dark but I don't want it to be, I don't want it to just be a black solid black color but it something like that and we'll bring the contrast down Maybe 70. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Let's just go down. You know what we could do instead of that? Let's use, um, let's undo that. And we want the blur. Gaussian blur. Okay. Let's go to uh, levels. So we have got levels here, which are actually really, really nice. I really like the, the levels in here. And this is, gives us a little bit more control over how the this is more what I wanted right here. How the uh, the dark darks and lights and, and all that are gonna interact. That's more like what I wanted. Cool. All right, and we'll save this. I'm just gonna save it as a JPEG. And because there's hardly any real detailed information in here, um, dark blur. Okay, I'm gonna save it as a JPEG and pretty, pretty uh, low quality, in fact. Uh, let's go 80, 80%. All right, there we go. 
And that's what we're going to use back here. Let's let's give it a shot. Yep. I like that for the footer. Pretty cool. Um, and, and then what I could have as well down here is maybe a button. And uh, let me just say... Um, Joshua. Uh, I'll just say visit. Visit my site. This will go to joshuapomeroy.com. Um, I'm not sure if I've got to put the HTML in there or not. Cool. So now we got a button. So I wanted to have some kind of call to action and we're going to put that right underneath this text. Look at that. Makes it whoosh, same, same width. That's really cool. Um, let's see, maybe, maybe put, uh, just, I'm not sure how long that paragraph is going to be. So I'll just hit return one time to, to kind of fill up that space there. Let's, let's check it out and see, see how things are looking. All right, let's just check it out on mobile first. There it is. Our first section, big image, second section. Big image, well, that's a big eye. Third section. Big image. And then this footer, look at that, it already realigned itself. Boom. All right, let's check desktop. Really nice. Really like, like this. Very cool. And that's our home page. Now our footer is going to show up on these other pages as well. At least it should. Yep, there it is. So now we just need to fill this up with content. This will be all about the process of, of how I create these. I'll probably have some videos and some more like article type content in here. And then downloads will be, um, a lot of it's gonna, be, I'm gonna open up some of these Google drawings to be able to to, um, to to edit them yourself or just at least have a starting point for some of the, so the illustrations that I've made. At least that's my plan, so. Uh, if that's something of interest to anybody who's watching right now, let let me know so that uh, I I know that's uh, that's something it'll be it'll be uh, desired. Um, yeah, try try out the Google Sites. Give it a shot. Uh, so I just want to see, let's see, this is the footer, right? Here's our content. We had a short bio button for the website and then the Google drawings vector portrait of myself, just kind of a, a selfie here down at the bottom. And we have that now. So there it is. So there's our homepage, really nice, vibrant, big full width images there. That's, that's really cool. And just kind of showcasing some of the work that I've done using a very, very, very simple tool. Now I'm using another very simple tool to create, I think, a, a very uh, visually appealing website. So there we go. Do you guys have any other questions? Any anything else that I can I can help with before I end this stream of Roo? Let me know. This will be up on on my um, my YouTube channel. So. Um, Feel free to comment there if, if you want as well. And if you like this, uh, give it a thumbs up. And let me know if there's anything else that I could I could uh, do videos or live streams about that um, would be helpful. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll see you guys around the internet sometime soon. So thanks again for watching. Bye for now.